What obstacles stand between you and your twin flame? Mary Meek, my dear soul, welcome to your tarot reading for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this reading finds you in a time you feel grounded. So this is going to be a very interesting tarot reading, Divine Soul. I felt very called to send you a message today. I felt very called to um, deliver something special, something divine, something that is meant to help guide you. And I did notice that there were so many difficulties in trying to get this message out there. In fact, it is very late right now as I am recording this um, because there have just been so many different obstacles that have come along this message. So I really feel like there are a lot of challenges that you are currently dealing with. And I'm so happy that we have the lovely, lovely California white sage that we have with us today to help cleanse our energies, to help cleanse your energies, and to help bring some flow and some movement into your life. Because I am seeing a lot of different things that are getting in the way of you and your twin flame and your twin flame goals as a couple. And so there have just been so many different obstacles, so many different um, inconveniences, instances. So let's take a look. I don't know if you can even hear that outside. Do you hear that? There is so much going on right now. I'm, I myself feel a little bit overwhelmed with all of this information. So yes, let's take a look at what the tarot cards are telling us. Let's see what obstacles stand between you and your twin. I would be quite surprised if the devil card did not come out in this reading because this I'm, I'm picking up on some heavy devil energy and I don't mean that in a scary way or in a bad way it's just the energy of the card that I am familiar with okay So the obstacle that stands between you and your twin is the uncertainty of having more in life. Now, this is a very deep message and I am channeling this and I feel it all the way down to my base, my root chakra. Okay, this is something that I feel neither you nor your twin would like to say to each other, nor admit to each other, or even to yourselves. But I feel like you and you and your twin are currently in a very gray. Um, a very gray zone in your life right now. Um, I feel like you don't really know where you're going and which direction you're headed. Same goes for your twin. I feel like... I feel like the energies that you are both um, emitting, currently vibrating at, are quite low. Intuitively, you know that you can do so much better. You know that you can be so much happier. And the same goes for your twin. Intuitively, they know that they could be so much happier too. And that they could be doing so much better with their life. 
Now the thing here is, it's not that you are unhappy with each other. It's that you are unhappy with your own selves. And maybe in the past, you and your twin kind of projected that onto each other. Maybe you both expected the other person to fulfill the other. So I feel like, um, you know, right now you are on a quest to find, to, to really find out for yourself, see for yourself what's, what's right for you, what's meant for you, what's good for you. And also, what's wrong for you? What's bad for you? What isn't meant for you? That's what you are on a quest to find right now. You are on a mission to find out the truth. And I feel like your twin is going through something very similar. Now the obstacle here is that you both are quite stubborn. You both are quite stubborn and quite prideful. And that's why neither of you want to admit that either. I feel like you both also are very protective of your love. You don't want anyone to ever um, think that your love was just some random or just, you know, just, you know, one of those loves. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense with that, but it's like you don't want people to think it was just um, another, just another love of yours. You are both keeping this, um, this love, this divinity, this relationship, this connection. You are really protecting it. Even though you and your twin may not be together right now, you both may be at a distance or you both may be at a pause. I see that you are both like really protecting it like you don't want negative energy to get in the way you don't want to say anything bad about the relationship and that's why you both don't want to admit that you both feel like you could do better because you are afraid of maybe saying or feeling like your twin flame wasn't good enough and vice versa your twin flame is also afraid of feeling or thinking or saying that you weren't enough. You both want to really protect the image of you that, that you have of one another. You know, you don't want to build any like resentment. You don't want to build any hatred, any, um, any feelings that may be buried deep down, but then may still spring up some somewhere down the road. It's like you both are really trying to protect this. I see that you both still wish for each other, okay? But at the same time, going back to this whole thing about being stubborn, it's like you don't want to admit that either. You don't want to admit to yourself that you low-key still hope that you find your way to each other. Again, you have a lot of pride right now, and that's that's not a bad thing, okay? Please do not see that as an insult, you know, pride is a human feeling. So it is totally okay to feel that way. But deep down, I see that you both are still connected through your wishes for one another. But I feel like it's a very faint um, line that connects you or ties you both because you are both um, trying to take away its opacity as much as possible. And Notice how I'm talking about, you know, you both are trying to tinker with its opacity rather than 
trying to wipe it away because I don't see this tether being wiped away. I see the tether still being there. It's just you refuse to see it. Look, look at this queen of pentacles. She refuses to see. She refuses to open her eyes and take a look. You and your twin right now, okay, what what I'm seeing so far, just with the few cards that we have read, I really feel like you and your twin are, you both have, you both have a lot of pride right now. And I feel like, you know what, like this time that you're both feeling quite prideful, I feel like this is good. This is a good thing. This is a good thing for you. This is a time for you to be prideful. Be proud of who you are. Build your confidence again. Do things that continue to make you feel good. But try not to get too carried away with your ego, okay? I do want to add that, of course. I see that... Um, I see some sort of move, some sort of travel. I feel like this this could be a physical like this could be actual physical movement or this could also just be energy that is moving. But I do see that this movement is bringing you and your twin to calmer waters. This this movement um, is taking you down a safer journey, a safer sea for you both to venture through. And I feel like I feel like that, um, okay, this is, this is pretty interesting, okay, because I'm kind of getting a very clear message right now. So you and your twin flame may, um, you both may still be in a very like 3D kind of state of mind these days. You both may be focusing more on your material gains you may be focusing more on um you know earthly matters so maybe you're in your pride you're 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 feeding your ego or you're doing things to boost your ego um but spiritually or energetically i see that you're both um going through different cycles it's like you're both walking around um certain cycles trying to find out what trying to figure out what it is you truly wish for. And I feel like at some point in time, at some point in, down like down the line, you are going to know exactly what you want. And as soon as you know what you're wishing for or you know what you want to wish for or ask for from the universe, that is when things are going to be much calmer. That is when the journey begins to take a 180 degree turn. That is when um, the seas kind of change. It's like the weather clears up all of a sudden. And then you're going to get your wish come true. Look, you have the star and you have the magician. So, you know, the energies here are definitely in your favor. The universe is saying that this is a powerful time for you, divine soul. So, you know, don't, don't try to rush this process because something amazing is about to happen to you. Yeah, be patient. Try not to rush this process. Try not to have all of the answers right away. Be okay with being a student. Be okay with knowing that you, you, you can't have it all or you don't have it all. And I feel like this really just comes full circle. So I'm just going to move some cards around a little bit.
So let's just pretend that's a nice circle. But that's what I feel like it's happening right now. Let's try to make this look better. Something like that. Now, I don't even know why I feel called to put the cards um, this way, but I'm trusting my intuition here. And you're definitely going through a cycle, okay? So from the page, you become the queen. And these cards, I know that the eight of cups went first before the queen, so let's put that there. It's like you're the page... You're the, you, you know that you have a lot to learn. And so you set yourself, you prepare yourself for that next part of your journey, figuring it out. And so you create a, you know, a stronger sense of self. You create better boundaries. You know yourself more. You become more confident in yourself. And then you know what you want in life. You know what you're, what you're missing or what you're wanting. And so you allow the universe to take you there and you use your magic to open up this new portal. You enter this new portal and then here you are again. And then you have much to learn. And so you realize you have much to learn and then you set yourself um, for another adventure, another quest. And then you learn so much about yourself all over again. And it's not going to be the same lessons, you know, because you keep changing each and every time. So this is, this is so interesting to me, Divine. So I'm seeing um, a very interesting cycle here. But the obstacle that the universe wants you to be aware of at this time is really your pride and your ego. So this is what I am seeing for you, Divine Soul. I hope that you enjoyed this tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to join me in the extended reading, where I will be getting some advice from the universe as well as your spirit guides, I will leave the link below. Blessed be.